we are starting off with the sixth topic under blood and that is thrombocyte and platelet which is your sec not second third formed element we are already done with two out of three formed elements which are red blood cells and white blood cells now it's the turn for thrombocyte and platelets now you might have noticed that i just said thrombocyte and platelets instead of saying thrombocyte or platelet does that mean thrombocyte and platelets they are completely different are they completely different or do they have some kind of similarity let's find out first let's look at platelets platelets are found in mammals we are going to study the various properties of platelets the same way we did with rbcs and wbcs so first point is formation of platelets so the formation of platelets is known as thrombopoiesis where thrombo re refers to platelets as well as thrombocyte and poiesis means formation the platelets formation takes place from a very large cell that itself contains a large nucleus called megakaryocyte look the name itself contains three parts mega karyo and site mega means huge large karyo refers to nucleus and site means cell so it's a large cell that contains large nucleus so mega refers to large karyo refers to nucleus and site refers to cell so it's a cell with large nucleus now this mega karyocyte is formed in bone marrow after the formation of mega karyocyte in bone marrow it tries to enter the blood vessel and mix with the blood but mega karyocyte is too big to penetrate through the wall of blood vessel and enter the blood so what happens is that this mega karyocyte when it tries to pass through the wall of the blood vessel breaks down into several smaller pieces so these are nothing but the smaller pieces or fragments of the cytoplasm of mega karyocyte and these small fragments of cytoplasm of mega karyocyte is known as platelets or platelets so platelets are nothing but they are cytoplasmic fragments so from this you might have already understood that platelets are not actually cells platelets are instead small pieces of cytoplasm of a pre-existing cell and that is mega karyocyte when mega karyocyte breaks down while entering the blood vessel the cytoplasm of the mega karyocyte breaks down into smaller fragments very small pieces and these small cytoplasmic fragments or pieces they are actually platelets second point is your shape platelets are very small in size and the shape they don't have any definite shape they are irregular not only that they are enucleated platelets come from mega karyocyte mega karyocyte contains a huge nucleus but when it breaks down and the broken down particles or the fragments they no longer have any nucleus so they are enucleated or without nucleus not only that platelets are sticky because it helps in blood clotting and it's fragile the reason behind these two you'll come to know under the topic of blood clotting number number varies from 200000 to 400000 per cubic millimeter of blood average life span it's from 7 to 10 days abnormal condition abnormal condition uh, is when the number of a cell is either more or less than the normal count so if the number of platelets is less than the normal count then what that particular abnormal condition is known as thrombopenia here the penia the part penia you can remember from the part penia that it refers to number being less than normal but if the count of platelets is more than the normal count then that particular abnormal condition is known as thrombocytosis 
remember from the part cytosis that it refers to number being more than normal number or normal count. Pigment, it doesn't have any pigment. There's no hemoglobin at all. Function, it performs two major functions. Function number one, platelets are responsible for blood clotting in mammals. Blood clotting, that means whenever there is injury or whenever uh, you get a wound, then, then the healing of that wound takes place by the process of blood clotting. And the cells that are responsible, not cells, the stuff that is responsible for blood clotting in mammals are platelets, uh, also called clotting factors. So, helps in healing of wound. And number two, platelets, they also secrete serotonin. Serotonin, I have already mentioned, it is anti-inflammatory. That is, it is against inflammation. Why? Because serotonin is a vasoconstrictor. And one way of uh, decreasing inflammation is to contract the blood vessels. Next is thrombocyte that you guys have been waiting for. What's amazing about this? Thrombocyte, they are present in all vertebrates. Except... Except, you have already guessed it, mammals. Because mammals consist of platelets. That's why instead of platelets, in other vertebrates, there are thrombocytes. Break the word. Thrombo comes from thrombus. That means clot and site means cell. So these are the clotting cells. Next up. So platelets, we said that platelets are found in mammals. Thrombocyte are found in all vertebrates except mammals. Another, platelets are irregular in shape. However, thrombocyte, they have a regular shape. That is, they are spindle shaped. That means it is swollen in the middle while tapering at the ends. Secondly, platelets, they didn't have any nucleus. They are enucleated. However, thrombocyte does have a nucleus. So it is nucleated. The blue portion that I have shown right here is the nucleus. And that's it for thrombocyte and platelet. Let me revise it for you. So platelets, they are found in mammals and they help in blood clotting. The process of formation of platelet is known as thrombopoiesis and platelet formation takes place from megakaryocyte. They are very small, irregular, without nucleus, sticky and fragile cytoplasmic fragments. Abnormal condition when the num number of plat platelets is less than the average count or the normal count. That particular condition is known as thrombopenia. But if the number is more than the normal count, that particular condition is known as thrombocytosis. Function. Platelets help in blood clotting in mammals and helps in healing of wound as well as secrete serotonin. Thrombocyte, on the other hand, are clotting cells which are found in all vertebrates except mammals and these cells they actually have a definite shape that is they look like a spindle and they also contain nucleus that's it bye